at Clackamas, theater is not dead. Theater is very much alive and it's strong and it's really been very, very helpful to be able to be in such an exciting theatrical environment. Theater itself is a live experience shared with a group of people that will never be the same because every group of people shares that memory differently. My favorite thing about theater is its immediacy, the fact that it's right there. It's, it's very organic. There's also this collaborative process that people learn in theater. You work together to create something that doesn't take away from your own contribution. It actually takes your contribution and makes it greater. So that sense of working together in a positive way without having to feel like you're, you're giving anything up. All of us come from a different ethnic background. All of us come from different religions, but we all seem to get along. It's like a family. There's so many things to love. It's home. You know, it really is. Um, I really like that you chose a different voice for your character. That and the gum probably helped because with a the southern drawl, your theater classes have helped me here immensely with technique. Uh, actors can't play emotion. It just comes out through technique and subtext, which is something you'll learn. I mean, I was a very, very untrained actress, and I've learned so much about technique, and I've changed infinitely as an actress. What I was when I got here is not what um, I will be when I leave. It's not just acting, but behind it there's subtext, there's beats, there's your motivation. You can research the character by yourself, you can look into the character's background, you can gain what and who the character is just by doing that. It's just, it raises your awareness of how you act in everyday life as well, the way you talk, the way you breathe, the way you, you present yourself. We really strive to get people to play and not be afraid to make mistakes. They have your mind set on, you know, your monologue and how you're developing your character, and then when you think you have it down, they make you switch, okay, do the exact opposite of what you just developed. When they have you do that, you, I don't know, your knowledge of your character and stuff, since you have to try new things, just becomes so much greater. I've just gained so much of an, more of an appreciation for theater and how much of a wonderful art it is. All asking me, what's the matter? What is the matter, baby? What happened, darling? What could I say to that? Just those qualities that can just, you know, just stir the audience. That it's that you have so much power, and I've just learned how to how access that power. There's a lot that I've learned from David, just from watching and observing him. He's just an amazing person to watch. Watching students develop. And, and grow, watching the excitement of students when they begin to grasp what they're, what they're doing and are able to do it. And, and the, the joy, the, the excitement, and the satisfaction in the eyes of those students gives me a great deal, great deal of satisfaction. I think the best part for me now, originally was the people, but it's, it's just improving on what I've already learned and how to refine that. We're telling a story with the director and the actors uh, for the audience. Um, and in context to that story, there needs to be an environment to tell the story in. What is the environment? The playwright, him or herself, will give you a, a sense of direction, or often, or where the story takes place. Um, and then the creative part comes with working with the director in establishing a concept and then running on the uh, sort of the the light of what happens in developing that concept as you go along. I'd have to say my favorite thing about theater is the uh, technical aspect end of it, primarily the sound design and sound engineering and lighting a little bit. I think the biggest thing I learned was set construction, which is something I'd never really done before. I'd, primarily before I got to college, I was always just doing sound and lighting. And Class sizes tend to be pretty small. You get more of a one-on-one. -on -one. If you go try to go other places, whoever's trying to teach you has to also teach at least 20 more people. Here, we're a little bit smaller class, so if you need help, the teacher, you know, Chris is there. He can show you what to do. There are opportunities when a student will, for the first time, grasp something that's new and different and exciting. Because it's the first time that they understand it, and to watch them 
sort of open a new window into their own understanding of themselves, that's, that, that's not matched anywhere else. Because you know, you're building the thing, you're actually learning, and you're not like trying to fight over tools or anything else in the theater. You can have your project, you can do it, and you're not gonna end up running into five different people. The only other theater program I've worked in was at Oregon State, and I'd have to say the theater program here is much more productive. Um, one, we have state-of-the-art facilities, and we're more known for theater. I think you get a lot more out of the classes here, and um, I think the shows produced here are of higher quality. Not much. Okay. Everyone on stage, please, everybody here. It's, there's still a need in our culture um, for live theater that is different than uh, entertainment and film itself, and television. You certainly can watch a DVD with a group of people, but there isn't the interaction between what's happening live on stage with the actors and what's happening uh, with the audience. Ah! Ah, good girl, good girl! <laughs> The goal is that in this mix, when we have this variety of students and a variety of experience, uh, is to bring everybody as close together as possible. It's, it's the thing that, that, of course, we do every term, and it's part of this educational theater process. On your monologue, Mark, um, when you go from you being in character as Hamlet to going back to Eugene, mm -hmm. sharper changes. Okay. Much so, when you go back to Eugene, when you write character, much bigger, much more flamboyant. One of the reasons that it is so valuable to our program and to the other actors to have an artist in residence is because they bring uh, additional skill level, experience level to each rehearsal, which is a great teaching tool. Good shows come out of it, and so it's really great to be able to see what happens to put on good shows. I like doing this a lot because it keeps me on my toes and you never know what's going to happen in live theater. I love the idea of being able to escape your own reality for a couple of hours and be someone else entirely. And after the product, after we've done it, after we've finished the run of the show, it's closing night, we're through, it's, I, I find it strangely comforting to know that we are going to leave that. It'll disappear. We'll never see it again. Everything's gone. You come back to the theater and it's just a black floor. What used to be a set and what was a fully realized production is all gone. I'm not necessarily going to pursue a career in acting. I never wanted to be just one thing. I always wanted to be like a hundred things. I would love to become a professional actress. To be an actress in film. Teaching high school theater. High school counselor. Business management. An audio engineer. To be on a soap opera. I wish I knew what my career path was. I'm really excited about the college just because of how fast the, opp the opportunities are there if you really want to take them. We help get people started as professional actors. Students who go on and continue to practice in this art, this craft that we call theater, have often an opportunity to come back as an artist in residence here as part of the program. Um, I've given the opportunities to, to teach here and uh, direct and write. The opportunity for work in the repertory theater afterward is awesome. I took, the te I took the tech theater class over the summer and I learned a bunch. Mm -hmm. And another opportunity through that, there's now a church that rents, uh, rents the space to hold their service and I'm the light and sound technician for the, the church, which is a paying job that I got through to college. Everything is one step toward something else. When you get opportunities like that, you realize that um, you can flourish. Uh, there's no reason why you wouldn't do it. I've gained interpersonal relationship skills. Confidence. Uh, independence. It's made me more confident. Self-confidence in general. It can be applied to any field. That's why this is my education and this is what I want to do. It's a place where I can be whoever I want to be. And I love, I don't know, just where it takes you, your imagination. And it just has so many, so many different things that it's really hard to pick one thing that I like most about it. What I hope they learn here at Clackamas is that, you know, we actually are here for them. And how we step into the opportunity to enhance their experiences and education um, goes beyond the product itself, but the experience. You can really learn a lot. It's 
a great program.